Hey out there on YouTube, how are you guys doing today? Now today we've got something by Gerber that is entirely weird, entirely different, and seriously freaking strange. I honestly think when this was designed, somebody at Gerber got a challenge and went, hold my beer. But stay tuned, right after that intro, we're gonna get into it. Okay, thanks for staying with us after that intro. Now, I know, seriously, Gerber is designing camp kitchen knives now? I, I just went, what the heck? I saw one of these a little bit ago in a monthly subscription box online review. I believe it was like a survival box. Now, as you can see by the opening, well, not so much by the opening, but maybe by the package, it's a, I hope I'm saying this right, a Santoku inspired blade design. Now, if you don't know what any of those are, you're going to put a picture up here in about three, two, one. Okay, so that's an interesting looking Japanese knife, right? So, God, how can I put this? Basically, this is how it comes. All right. It made me laugh because how many of you are carrying your kitchen knives on a belt loop in a nylon sheath? Most people when they're going out into the woods really don't pack a heck of a lot. They pack light. And I know this blade doesn't weigh that much, but um, yeah. So let's get into it. Okay. Going to remove it from the sheath. Now this is what had me laughing. It's a Velcro enclosure that loops over. So here is Gerber's version of that Santoku, Santoku, I, look, I, 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 the only thing I know how to say in Japanese is getting a beer, so, you know, hey, but here we are. Now, they say it's great for chopping and food preparation. I can tell you, honestly, it came pretty razor sharp out of the package, and if you know a lot of Gerber blades, that's kind of hit or miss to have it really sharpen nicely out of the package. It has this intense little finger chorl and the jimping forward on the knife, which I thought was kind of interesting. Now, I love how they put, it's dishwasher safe, so you can take a blade that you can take out into the field and throw it in the dishwasher. Okay. I love how they have to point out, it's got rubberized, texturized, ergonomic grip. I don't know you, but how many people are dropping camp knives out in the woods where you need a neon green, you know, crap all over it, plus a lanyard hole on your camp knife? Now, the overall length of the knife is 9.1 inches, the blade is 4 inches, and the steel on it is 7CR17MOV. It is a full tang blade, which I thought was good because, well, if you're using a camp knife, you know, you're doing a bunch of chopping. You don't want, like, a half-stick tang to break through and stab you in the hand. This is what I found funny. Okay? The weight of this guy, per the package, is 7.6 ounces. On Amazon, it's 6.6 .6 ounces. On Gerber's website, it's 6.5 ounces. So I'm like, what is it, guys? Now, I do love how they had to put on their website... It was designed and created, you know, in Portland, Oregon, but all the assembly was done in China. And I'm like, it's kind of a given if you know your steels, because the 7CR17MOV is basically a Chinese steel. So I don't see Gerber importing steel to produce it in Oregon. Now, this had me laughing. On Gerber's website, they went, this is nimble enough for, you know, kitchen stuff yet strong enough to use at the campsite, whether you're, you know, chopping through meat or making feather sticks. I don't know about you, but I'm not going to use the same blade that I'm chopping through a steak to turn on and start processing firewood. But that's just me. The cost on this guy on Amazon's website is $37.66. On Gerber's website, 
it's 53. The rating on Amazon is 4.2 stars out of 5. Now, what had me laughing is one guy gave it a one-star review. He never purchased Blade. He even says in his review, I didn't purchase this, but I hate Gerber Blades, so it automatically gets a one-star review. And on Gerber's website, it's got a four-star rating. But, you know, guys, I'm, I'm kind of torn because I think it's a gimmicky item. I really seriously do. I think Gerber wants to branch into kitchenware, and this is like one of their first ones out there. I know they've got a paring knife that if I ever run into it, maybe I might buy it just to bring it to the channel. But it's not in my top 100 that I want to go out and buy. So let me know what you think of this thing, guys. You know, like everything, down below. And as usual, you should be seeing, you know, company symbol popping up right here. Go click on that, and that's going to take you right to subscribe. If you haven't done it already, make sure you check the little bell that's right next to subscribe. That way you'll get notified every time we put a brand new video up there. Please remember to go ahead, like, share, and also subscribe. And over here, you should be seeing some videos that YouTube is going to select from our catalog of videos that they think is a good, I don't know, ideal watch for you. But there you go, guys. This is the Gerber Freescape Camp Kitchen Knife. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed laughing at this as much as I did when I was doing some research on it. Hope you guys have a great day.